What's going on everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can connect to their Airtable API through N8N. All right, the same principles apply to make.com or whatever you're really trying to do. I'm just going to be showing you in N8N and you may be wondering why do you need to connect to the Air API when Airtable actually has uh, or N8N has an Airtable node, make.com has an Air, uh, Airtable module. Well, for example, in N8N, you got to do things a bit differently sometimes based on your scenarios and the native Airtable node won't do it. And same thing for make.com. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Let's dive right into it. All right, so what do I mean for N8N? Well, I'll give you a specific example for N8N, all right? I'm sure you can find one for it, make.com as well. And you'll find this when you're dealing with many different tools, all right? The, no, the native node or the native module won't necessarily maybe do everything that you need it to do. And I did a video on this yesterday regarding Go High Level, and Go High Level has a bit more of a challenging API using OAuth 2.0. To connect to so if you use go high level and you need to use some more advanced features than what the native uh, high level module has then i would definitely suggest checking out my video i did yesterday but specifically for Airtable, one of my favorite tools as well we're going to cover that and for for example in this um you know scenario uh we had an update Airtable record right here now, when you're doing, um, when you're adding an actual, like, say, if I got an image that was downloaded or a link or whatever, so say oh, I had the uh, image link, and long story short, um, I'm not going to explain the specific uh, API call I did necessarily. Like, I'm not going to go into every single thing, but basically, it's an API call using the Airtable API docs, and it's basically updating a image based on you can see here this record id the same one that we just updated so we updated a record um, or created a record based and uh, in the base right the base id is right here and we had a url of an image that we wanted to upload to Airtable. now when you're in n8n um well, first of all, you can't upload an image directly to Airtable's API. You can't download it with an HTTP and then upload it. You actually have to use the link. So it has to be a link that's hosted publicly. Um, in our case, in this scenario, I have that link. But in some cases, if it's like you don't have that, and um, what you could do is you could host it on something like uh, Cloudflare. This is like a side thing. I'm just letting you know if you are encountering an issue like that with Airtable. But basic, like, this is besides the point. I'm just kind of explaining this specific case where this may come in handy for using your tables API. And, uh, and then, yeah, so I'm just doing a call here. And then I'm sending a body of the basically saying update this image field and just add this URL right here for the image. Because you can't just natively put the URL in NAN um, within, like, if I go here to update fields um i don't even know if the fields here but i can't just add the url within within the native node here you actually have to do a patch uh request so patch is basically just updating and i'm updating that record id i just did in the previous module right here the update record i'm grabbing that record id so I, and then i'm just adding the image through the api call okay i know Hopefully that makes somewhat sense. I'm just trying to illustrate why you would actually need this. Regardless of the fact, whatever purpose you may need to use this, let's get into how to actually connect to the API. All right, so very simple. Actually, um, if you're new to N8N, first of all, N8N is an alternative to make.com, Zapier. I really love N8N. Um, and N8N is free if you self-host it. And I would suggest self-hosting it in a VPS. It's just basically if you're going to use it long term, that's the only way you want to do it or like a VDS or whatever. You want to self-host it on your own server um, or server you're paying for. And yeah, so basically what you're going to do. So whenever you're just basic rules, whenever you're connecting to any API, you're going to do a HTTP request. 
authentication it really depends but let's just say like if it was a generic credential type you have these different options here um you could do a header auth and you could connect to Airtable this way but the cool thing with n8n is they actually have a lot of predefined credential types so you can see here like a bunch of different apis like ClickUp, um, Facebook Graph API, GitHub API, um, Google Cloud, Grok, HubSpot, you know, literally like a, a bunch. And they actually have Airtable API. Okay, so I'm actually just seeing they actually have Airtable. Wow. Okay, so they ha I didn't even realize, I didn't see these other ones. They have Airtable API, Airtable OAuth 2 API, and then Airtable personal access token API. Um, okay, I'm just gonna guess. I believe this one would probably be the easiest to connect to. Let's just see how this works. Um, so Airtable personal access token API, create new credentials. Oh, yeah, this is actually super simple. Okay, so, um, okay, so all you're really going to need to do, so make sure you enable the following scopes for your token. Okay, so you're going to need to enable those scopes. So basically, yeah, so those scopes right here. Um, what you're going to do is we are going to go over to Airtable. And you, once you log into Airtable, I'm not going to like go to my login, but you would right click on the top right and you're going to click on Developers Hub. Like, let me just show you. Um, Okay, I'm in a base right here. You would right click up here and you would click on developer sub. Okay, once you do that, it's going to take you over to something that looks like this. So, you can this API keys, they're actually depreciated, so you can't use them anymore. Um, OAuth, you could do it this way. All right. Um, I guess I did do it both ways, I believe. But um, yeah, personal access token is very simple. It's actually super, super easy. So you would actually just select what base you want to have access to. I Or you can select your workspace. I just like to select a workspace most of the time. And you would add the scopes that you want. I'll just add like, I didn't even see what scopes. I can't remember. I'm just going to add all the scopes. Because it's, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, you do want to at minimum add the scopes that they showed here. I'm just going to call this N-A-N test. I can spell test there. Boom. Create token. Okay. I'm going to delete this after this video. All right. But we would just copy this. And then I would go over to here. Access token. Paste that in. And then save. And then we're good to go. So that was actually very, very easy. Um, what we can also do is we could do an Airtable OAuth 2.0 API, and then you would just create the credential. Uh, I mean, it's very, it's actually very simple. Uh, I, I mean, they're both so simple. This one, I guess it's just, uh, I wouldn't even say it's more challenging. It's just, you got to copy and paste over couple more things so i guess technically it's more challenging let me just make sure yeah i can delete this so this one i guess it's a little bit more challenge it's not super challenging at all it's really the same thing it's just that you gotta like paste in more stuff so you would just go n8n test you would get this oauth redirect url now if you need to host this on your own vps because you need like an actual uh, live url of course and then you would just paste that in register integration all right um you really only need to fill out the stuff that's useful you got your client id here and it will give you your client secret once you actually create this um integration will be limited to developer so i guess you don't okay what do you need what do we need um Okay, I need scopes, of course. Yeah, so very simple. Then you could literally just go like, uh, not update integration. Oh, this, boom. Okay, save changes. 
And then we're just going to want to go here. Plant ID. And. Okay, go back. Where's the client secret? Uh, you just register new client secret here. Let me just make sure. Where did... Oh, this is... No, I don't want to do it for this one. I want to do it for this one. Generate client secret. Yeah, generate. Boom. You see, copy this. Come over here. Paste that in. Oh, you want to connect. And then it's just going through OAuth 2.0. Or OAuth uh, 2 API. Just going to select the workspace and then connect it. All right, you can close and then you're good to go. All right. So, yeah, we got OAuth 2 API connect, OAuth 2 e personal access token. So, those are really the two main ways you can connect from that point on. Like, if I wanted to do just as a test here. Um, let's just say, okay, I don't want to do a test right now, but okay, maybe I can do a real quick test, uh, just something easier. Let's just say list records, base ID, table ID, mm, okay, here, go like this, Boom, and then we're gonna wanna go our base ID, table ID. This may list a bunch of records. And I think you may have to send a couple. No, no. Do we need any headers? Go all plans. Okay, that's it. Yeah, it's going to give us a bunch of records. Yeah, see, super, super big. May even freeze everything. So, yeah, I'm not going to wait until this loads because I this that table probably has about 15,000 <laughs> um, records in it. Yeah, see, look at what we got here. Um, yeah, it's probably going to crash the, the tab. It has that many records. So, anyways... Just wanted to show you guys a very simple way to connect to Airtable API. All right, you always want to be connecting to the APIs when using NAN as well as make.com for many different things. Even if it does have a node or if it does have a module, lots of times you're going to want to connect to API just because you have more control, more freedom, etc. Don't be scared with the API. Connecting to it is so simple. Once you get the hang of it, and you'll just be connecting to different APIs um you know whenever you feel like it right so go crazy i hope you got some value from this video if you did make sure to subscribe smash that like button if you're new to this channel we upload videos every single day showing you how to automate your business your workflows your personal life your productivity using uh ai automations etc if you like things like n8n make.com zapier chat gpt you know ai go high level um did some crazy go high level videos the other day so check those out um, if you also too, if you're an entrepreneur, coach, consultant, marketing agent, oh, here we go. Bunch of different records. Um, yeah, page is loading really slow right now. So I'm just going to close this and I'm going to go ahead and delete those, um, personal access tokens and OALs. But yeah, if you're a coach, consultant, entrepreneur, agency owner, etc., and you haven't already joined our free stride community link for that will be in the description down below guys. And if you want help automating your business and your workflows, et cetera, as well as integrating AI and having appointment sending machine into your business, like if you guys are getting leads in your business and you don't have like systems and workflows and automations, nurturing them, booking appointments with them, et cetera, and you want something like that, you want systems like that and, and all that good stuff, or if you need to get leads and you know, you have a good offer and uh, you want to scale things, then definitely book a call down below executivestride.com forward slash apply and speak to myself and you can see if we can work together. 
Um, you know, we like to work with like-minded individuals, people with that winning mentality. So if that sounds like you, book a call down below. And we can see if it would be a good fit or not. And then, like I said, join our free community regardless. Definitely down below, you can network with like-minded individuals as well as myself. We have about 750, 800 members in our free Facebook group and Discord channel right now. We may start a paid school very soon. So join the free one while you can. And then other than that, guys, uh, if you haven't grabbed a copy of my book, Client Acquisition Code, I would definitely recommend checking that out. Link in the description down below. If you want to automate with AI, run paid traffic, all that good stuff. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.